the knowledge sharing session on uh, STAT Pro and this is uh, Ram Kumar as Professor of Civil Department from M. Kumar Semi College of Engineering and today we will be looking into some of the informations uh, on the uh, software which is called as STAT Pro and these are all the uh, contents that we are going to see uh, first one uh, the introduction to STAT Pro and then the history of the software and uh, what is meant by structure and various the types of structures and we'll be looking into the uh, window screen of uh, the software stat pro and various tools used in the software and uh, various types of cursors uh, page controls and how to generate a model and then uh, various types of uh, structural wizards and then uh, after creating the models we have to assign the properties and uh, we have to assign supports and then uh, how to define uh, new load cases and then uh, we have to do some of the analytical processes and then we can design the elements that has been analyzed in the software and various advantages of the software and uh, we will be just concluding what all the contents we have seen in this session. Uh, first one is about the introduction to software to start pro. Uh, it is a structural analysis design programming software which includes a state of art user interface visualization tools and international design codes all the types of design codes has been uh, implemented in this software uh, it is a international design code software and it is used for uh, 3d model generation analysis and multi-material design uh, the commercial version of start pro supports uh, several steel concrete timber and various aluminium design codes as well and it is one of the software applications created to help structural engineers to automate their tasks and uh, remove the uh, tedious process and uh, long procedures in uh, doing manual analysis. Uh, the history uh, was uh, created in 2005 uh, when uh, various uh, research engineers uh, originally developed Stat Pro in the year 2005 and later on it was uh, brought by uh, Bentley Systems and still it is uh, handled by Bentley Systems as of today. Uh, a structure is a member or you can say an element uh, which can be defined as an assemblage of various single elements. Combination of various elements is said to be a structure. A STAD is a capable of analyzing and designing structures consisting of both frame and find elements. Almost any type of structure can be analyzed by STAD Pro. So here the frame elements are said to be as beam elements which is considered as two nodal elements and finite elements are considered as either uh, plate elements or it can say solid elements either it can be three noded or four noded or more than four and up to eight noded elements. So in case of uh, STAD a node becomes a joint a beam becomes a member and plate becomes an element and these are all some of the technical terms that are we are going to see in this software uh, whereas the node is a number represented by a number and it has uh, x y and z coordinates um, beam is also represented by a number and it has uh, nodes at its ends whereas the plates uh, is also uh, denoted by numbers and it has nodes at its corners because uh, plates are uh, considered as a closed surface uh, of minimum three sides and maximum of eight sides in the software and these are all the four types of structures that are implemented or uh, introduced in this software application the first one is a truss structure uh, which is has only axial member posts and no bending in the members whereas second one is a plane structure it is a global xy coordinate system with loads applied in the same plane and third one is the space structure which is the most uh, general and most useful structure it can uh, it can be used for any kind of dimensional framed structure we can use one dimensional two dimensional and also three dimensional framed structure with loads applied in any plane we can apply in x plane or y plane or z plane we can use in any plane so for any type of uh, critical considerations we can use space structure as the template to uh, draw the structural elements and final one is the floor structure it has uh, either two dimension or three dimensional structure having no horizontal movement of the structure and these are all the various types of structures and this is the uh, screen of home screen of our sat pro software uh, here we can see the uh, 
various types of project tasks uh, here you can start a new project or you can say open a new open an already saved project and we can configure the software or we can back up the applications and we can use the license management to check whether our support so software has license support and here you can see the recent files that has been used in the uh, software you can if uh, if i uh, move the cursor uh, near the uh, name you can see the uh, preview of the uh, software or uh, project here in this screen and here we can have a uh, online support uh, content here and here you can see the license configuration already we have discussed that this software is a global uh, certificate software or you can see global design codes can be used here you can see the uh, us design codes british design codes latin canadian australian south african indian asian japanese euro codes and all the uh, design codes can be uh, seen here and also additional advantage is that here you have a stat beaver course also which is said to be as bridge codes uh, for even for a bridge design also we can do it in this analytical software so this is the home screen uh, where uh, the stat pro starts and this is the main window after uh, uh, opening or creating a project and this is the uh, menu bar and these are all some of the toolbars and here on the left side you can see the page control and this white screen is the main window or you can see there is a user interface so here you can see the x y and z coordinate systems because we are in a space structure uh, project and these are all some of the job information uh, tables uh, if need we can enter the job details client informations everything and and various tools can be used uh, to view the uh, side views or top views or the isometric views and we can also rotate the screens uh, we can zoom everything we can do it by using these kinds of uh, uh, tools here and this is the last one is the 3d rendered view and this uh, question mark symbols and as a help option and here we have uh, six types of cursors in the software uh, the first one is the nodes cursor in order to choose a node you have to choose the nodes cursor uh, whereas a normal cursor is a beam cursor if no, if uh, normally if you are selecting the entire structure uh, all the beam elements i said as a beam and columns only will be selected in the entire software if you want to select a particular node we have to change the cursor to a node cursor uh, so that we can pick the node that we need and similarly we have a plate cursor uh, plate cursors are used to select the various types of plates that are drawn uh, that is uh, slabs we can choose from here and then the fourth one is a surface cursor where surface cursors are denoted or uh, represented uh, to as a uh, wall structures and fifth one is a solid cursor we are solid is an eight noded uh, member or uh, element and finally we can see a geometric so by using geometry cursor we can select a uh, combination of the above five types of cursors if you need the both uh, beam and uh, plates uh, to be selected in the entire structure you can use a geometry cursor to select beam and plate or we can uh, filter either we have to choose the plate and surface means or at the same time we can use the geometry cursor also and this is the page control modeling mode and this in uh, this is the page control in post processing mode as post processing mode is a mode where uh, after analytical process the re report can be seen by using the post processing mode that is the uh, node displacement node reactions beam supports beam bending moment and then we can see the animations by using the displacements and uh, deflections everything you can see and also if you need uh, reports also you can take from here so this is the page control icons uh, whereas in modeling mode you can see that is setup geometry general analysis design options are here whereas in uh, post processing mode you can see that here the output of our structure will be shown the whereas for uh, node node uh, reverse, uh, reports and beams uh, reports analytical reports and you can see the animations and you can take the entire report as a word document also and uh, this is the general model graph on how to uh, generate a model and uh, a complete process the first one is we have to uh, give the input geometry that is the uh, node values beam values and plate values and we, then we have to do the input properties so properties means we have to assign the cross section for our uh, uh, 
uh, beam and columns either uh, slabs or uh, uh, wall panels staircases anything we need to apply them properties and then the input specifications constants and then we have to do apply uh, supports at the uh, ends of the members and then we have to assign the loading and then we have to choose this specific analysis type where there are various types of analytical process available in the software uh, for uh, particular uh, concepts we need to uh, specify the way type of analysis that to be done and then after uh, specifying it we have to run the analysis by either clicking on the analysis icon or you can simply use the control plus fi shortcut to run the analysis and then after analysis if there is uh, errors we can uh, view and verify the errors and if there is no errors we can also verify the results of the uh, analytical process so after uh, uh, verifying the results we can do the design process also if necessary we can do the design uh, by using software if not if you need to do the design manually we can uh, take out the results obtained from the software and do the manual design also but uh, here we can also do the design for purpose in software also and also we can take bar bending schedule uh, everything from this latest updated softwares and uh, first uh, one is the model generation so model generation we have three methods one is snap node method and the second one is coordinate method and last one is copy paste method so generally we will be using some uh, structural wizard concepts to apply uh, or create a uh, element uh, for in structure wizard we can choose the whether the truss model or frame model or surface plate model or solid model anything we need we can take directly uh, use it from the template that is available in the structural wizard or if you want to new create a new uh, structure in the uh, working window we can use this geometry uh, menu here we can use the add beam add plate add solid add surface concepts here and do the process and this is a, a time a taking process and this is a time uh, con, uh, saving process can time consuming this is time saving process and here we can use the assign property option either a circular property or rectangular property or a t property or general property we can apply here uh, either rectangle I, I have chosen rectangle here you can use the uh, depth concept or uh, width concept you can apply all the uh, values in terms of in uh, uh, any kinds of units and also you can also apply the material at the same time either concrete or steel or aluminium or timber any kind of material you need you can apply here and you can add or assign directly from this uh, dialog box and then similarly we can uh, use the support options either fixed support or pinned support or any kind of support or roller support any kind of supports we can apply directly from the support property dialog box then later on we have to assign the loads that is directly applying on the structure and uh, additional loads as uh, we can say dead load as a sulfate load and dive load loads or the moving loads or uh, uh, act acting loads that is acting on these structures and uh, if uh, the structure is uh, 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 laid on an uh, earthquake zone we have to apply earthquake forces also and uh, if the structure uh, exceeds the uh, accepted uh, height then you have to assign wind loads also so these are all some of the important considerations while applying or assigning loads this is the dialog box where you can apply uh, the low various types of load cases dead load or live load uh, here you can see various types of uh, load concepts that is sulfide nodal load member load area load floor load and also you can see seismic load okay so here you can apply any kind of loads that we need from this add new load items dialog boxes so after creating uh, definitions or uh, load types we have to apply every properties to the uh, members that we have created and after that we have to do the analytical process so from that we can use the uh, command options in that analy analysis of subdivision and in here we have various types of analysis that is perform analysis delta analysis cable analysis imperfection analysis and pushover analysis these are the various types of analysis here normally we can use the perform analysis concept for normal structures after that you have to uh, use the next uh, icon that is analy analyze menu in that analyze menu we can use the run analysis or you can use the shortcut control plus fi only after doing this commands analysis and perform analysis options and this is the analytical process uh, ongoing in the dialog box where you can see the 
what are all the process that is doing or checking or calculating you can see here here you can see there is no result sorry no errors in the result if there is no errors you can directly go to the post processing mode if there is error then this option will not be enabled here we can see uh, the output file that is the report generated or you can go to the post post processing mode and directly view the output uh, directly by as a graphical method and uh, if you do not want to go to the post processing mode or you do not want to view the output file you can directly go to the stay modeling mode option and click on done and this is the post processing mode here you can see the node displacement how the node has been displayed from its original position to a new position the entire uh, frame has been uh, swayed due to some uh, horizontal forces or some due to uh, uneven uh, loading or asymmetrical loading the next process is after analysis you have to make a design if required so here uh, the design concept has to be applied based on the uh, design considerations or uh, country codes here in india we will be using indian standard codes that is is 456 for uh, Uh, concrete design and IS 800 for steel design. So, in particular, what kind of uh, uh, codes we need? We have to choose from the design standards, and we have to choose the various kinds of properties, and we have to choose the various kinds of uh, profiles for the design considerations. And these are some of the advantages of Stat Pro. Uh, the first one is it covers all aspects of structural engineering. That is based on uh, from uh, initial nodes to the final support considerations, uh, loadings. everything can be uh, covered in this structural engineering software and is a broad spectrum of design codes it has mostly covered all the entire uh, design codes in the global uh, same same property international codes are available we can uh, uh, use the international codes uh, directly from any country and quality assurance is more important and uh, we can even take the reports and we we can make a documentation of all the uh, work done in the software so this is the conclusion satpo is widely used by most of the organization for their construction needs and unfortunately well skilled stat pro engineers are very hard to search because the stat pro is a technical software where we need a skilled uh, stat pro engineer to completely analyze an entire structure uh, to give a proper output So, if you believe in the prediction of the industry experts, then those students who will be getting trained on Sat Pro in the current and upcoming years will have bright and successful career ahead in the construction domain or even in the real estate domain. Because uh, in recent uh, development, only the analysis of uh, structures is more important because the safety is the more aspect. Uh, since the construction of uh, buildings are more than uh, four floors. Uh, by attending uh, stat pro training we can able to do uh, a normal stat pro design or analysis and design uh, for their uh, project in the college level so i have up- attended the uh, training session for 5 uh, days uh, through icit academy and uh, uh, these are all some of the knowledge i have gained and this will be uh, directly shared to the students for their upcoming design project uh for in the upcoming semesters thank you